Hi, my name is Aniko Bonsawin. I'm the voice of Inez from Cyber Chase. Oh no, this is not good at all. And uh, Sierra from Total Drama Island. Oh, cutie! Uh, and you're watching The Voice Podcast. And she's a sugar addicted super fan with 16 Total Drama blogs. Sierra! Oh my gosh, I love you guys! And this is the greatest day of my life! And... <laughs> Anybody got a paper bag I can breathe into? Mm. Oh my gosh, Cody! I've dreamt of this moment. Only you weren't wearing a shirt. One, two, three, slap my knee. My husband to be, his name is Cody. Four, five, six, kick up sticks. My heart won't tick without my Cody fix. Seven, eight, nine, straighten your spine. It's been to see Cody looking so fine. Ten, eleven, twelve, nothing runs with twelve. Shakes want Cody, but his butt's mine! Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our episode of The Boys Podcast. My guest today is a voice actress and actress. You may have heard her voice as Skunk in Franklin, Inez in Cyber Chase, Ashley in 16, Sierra in the Total Drama Series, and many more. So welcome, Ms. Anique Obansawin. Welcome, Anique. Thank you, Joe. Really happy to be here. Me too. <laughs> so, Anique, what have you been up to? How are you doing? How's Anique doing? I'm doing really well, thank you. Um, I just finished a uh, cyber chase uh, for our 20th anniversary. We came back, and uh, so we have episodes coming out soon. That was really fun. And um, I've been working on a few other projects, and I've also been working on my music again, which has been really, really fun. So um, keeping busy doing that, yeah, and trying to get out, traveling a bit locally, just, you know, out of hibernation. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm doing well. Thank you. Yeah. And you found yourself a Cody, too. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you had to bring that up. Sorry. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, I found a Cody, too, recently. So that's been lovely. <laughs> <laughs> so, Anique, what made you want to become a voice actress and an actress? Who would you say is your biggest inspiration for voice acting and acting? Um, okay, what made me want to be a voice actor? So it was kind of weird because I started this back in the 90s. So um, there were separate um, agencies that just did voice, but most of the on-camera agencies were introducing voice to the agency, ultimately. Sorry for repeating the words, but that's what it was. So I was on doing on-camera work. And my agent said, would you be interested in doing voice? Because we're opening up a voice department at the agency. And I said, okay. I was 10 years old. So, I mean, I didn't, I just, I was like, okay. <laughs> and yeah, and I started auditioning. And my first gig was Skunk uh, from Franklin the Turtle. And I got hooked on it. Um, and I would say my biggest influence uh, voice-wise, who's, I don't know who's. Uh, sorry, there's a Simps actor who does all the Simpsons voices. Oh, what? Nancy Cartwright. No, the guy. She does Bart. If that helps, Nancy Cartwright. If that helps. Dan. Yeah. Casanova Leva. Casanella. Castanella. Castanella. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's really cool. But also Allison in Court, who is they come from the. Big comfy couch, and she voiced Lydia on Beetlejuice. And I'm so blessed to say we're friends today. Um, but yeah, it's just that's kind of how I got into it. You know, it was kind of by accident, and I'm so lucky for that. Well, I think you're very talented, Nick. Like acting and voice acting wise, you're very talented. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> now, what is your favorite voice acting role you've done? Can you do the voice of your favorite character? Um, okay, um, I would say one of them is I play Tiffany, which is a witch on, uh, Hotel Transylvania, the series. Mm -hmm. I remember when I auditioned for it, they said, we're looking for like, I don't even know if you would know this reference, but remember Jersey Shore? Okay. Snooki? Oh, God, yes. <laughs> So they write snooky character, but like how with more pizzazz and like 
So I just started talking like this, you know, and we're going to do this. And anyway, back to Tiffany. She's a witch and I'm a hairdresser and, you know, whatever. It was, it, that's kind of like where I went with that. And that was like so much fun to do. Um, what else? What else? Uh, Sierra, of course. <laughs> You're going to make me do it, aren't you? Oh, Cody. Oh, my God. It's been like, what, 15 years since I've done that? Oh, Cody. Oh, my God. Like, OMG. Does that sound like her? It's been so long. Yeah. Sorry, I got like spooked because it's. It, you sound like Sierra. And he goes, Sorry, you sound like. I know. I get that. And then what else? I did like a little monster. Um, and it was like the one time I got to really use like my bo boyish voice so it was down here and we were a monster and what you know like that so that was from the amigo knots and what else i um and i'm gonna say skunk from franklin and it was just like when i was like 10 years old and i'm guessing i sounded <laughs> younger so maybe what's wrong franklin oh no that's not good something i mean i was 10 years old i used my real voice right um but yeah, I mean, I I have so many favorites, um, but I really, really remember those. Uh, and, and of course, Inez, you know, from Cyber Chase. It's just been such a journey with that show, um, which is basically like my real, my, my own voice. Just, oh, no, this is not good. This is not good at all. So a little bit more like just pulling it back a bit. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna yeah. Oh, oh, and I got to do a video game, and I was like this cat, half hybrid cat. Dude was like, oh, oh, hey, come on, man, let's go for it, you know, like that. She was, she was cool. But yeah, I got to do like a lot of, hey. so when my boyfriend watches video games, right, and it's all the, the oh, oh, hey, sounds, I always go like, because like I've done those right they're so because you'll they literally go we need library right I'm, like fighting so you just do okay I'll give you ABC <coughs> okay locker <laughs> you know you know it's so weird right but anyways those are some of the voices that I really really like yeah nice <laughs> <laughs> kind of went like above and beyond there for the answer but um yeah 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 i'm just starting to remember a lot of the stuff that i've done and um yeah anyways that's it can you walk me through the audition process like how did you get the role of sierra like how did you get the role crazy story i was in paris i was like i don't want to do voice work anymore i've been doing it since i was like eight years old or acting, acting really, uh, since I was eight years old, I just need a break, you know? Mm -hmm. And I wanted to try something else, see if there was anything else I really wanted to do. And so when I was 22 or 21, um, I decided to apply to fashion school in Paris, cause like, you know, who doesn't? And <laughs> couldn't draw to save my life. <clears throat> but I did have like a super, deeper at the time big interest in fashion and I was more interested in like the uh recreating medieval and renaissance clothing yada yada so anyways I got in I don't know how that happened and I, I know right and I was like salute I'm going to Paris and uh it didn't work out <laughs> because the whole time I'm supposed to be sewing and like, you know, learning, I'm doing my voices for like the fellow students and getting in trouble, right? So um, I came back to Toronto for the Christmas holidays and um, right beforehand, my agent said, look, I know you're back. I'm not sure if you're ready to jump back in, but there's this great part for this great show called Little Drama Island. And a few of my friends are on the show, so I was familiar with it. I, I, I hadn't really seen an episode from beginning to end. Don't judge me. Shame, shame. I know. But I, I'd heard it was really good. So I said, okay, well, send me the audition sides. Let me read it. And I fell in love with it. And I auditioned, and I got the part. So, yeah. And it was so liberating with Sierra. It's just so crazy, right? So, oh, yeah. 
so much fun with her. And I just remember I'd be in the studio doing it and the casting director would just go crazier, crazier. I'm like, I don't know how much crazier I can get. Like this is bananas, right? So we just had so much fun with it. And it's cool too. Like you guys went to Paris in Toronto too often, you know it. Too. I know, I know, I know. I told them the whole story when I had to sing. I love Paris in the springtime. I told them the whole story about like. By the way, I was just in Paris working for Dior, just like putting it out there. You know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good song. It's catchy when you sing it. It's catchy. Yeah, no, the songs are great. Whoever wrote them did a great job. We had so much fun like that <laughs> now a uh, favorite total drama character other than sierra cody come on come on coco cody cody mm -hmm. so bad for cody but anyways yeah cody but also because peter is such an awesome human being so i'm gonna go with cody like that that <laughs> now if it wasn't cody like if you didn't like if you know there wasn't cody i know you're biased to cody but like it was no I know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Is there like a chef on the show? Yeah, I like chef. <laughs> I just remember, <laughs> I like chef. Because um, you guys, I think like also people forget, like I did this show. Oh my God, I'm so old, but like, yeah, 10, 15 years ago, right? So, and because I'm older and I'm on the show, I don't, and I don't have a TV, I don't watch it, right? Or I, I at least, you know, so I just forget a lot of the characters. Um, but um, I don't know if you want to put that in or edit that out, but it's it's kind of true, you know? Um, but anyways, I'm going to go with Chef. Favorite total drama season that you were on? World Tour or All Stars? Oh, World Tour. That's the singing one, right? Yep. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm going to be honest. They were both awesome. They were both so much fun. But the singing, yeah. It's and, a technically the debut. You know, technically the debut of Zero. Ah, so that was great. That was fun. I like that. Now, uh, Alfie, did you hear about the two new seasons of drama? Like, wouldn't that be cool if Sierra came back? Or the Sierra movement we were trying to start? They were talking about that, like, hashtag bring back Sierra, you know, that would, I could really use the support. I like, I heard about it and my heart was a little broken that I wasn't asked to be back on, but you know, it is what it is. But I'm very, very excited. That's very, uh, that's awesome that they're still making new episodes, the new season. And, um, I'm wondering if there's going to be new characters or bring back some old ones. Do you know or? I, when I interviewed Brian, you know, Brian Froud is in Total Drama, I mean, yeah, yeah. he plays Harold and Sam, when I, when I asked about the two new seasons, he did this. Okay. He's good. So he'd probably be in it, I'm assuming, come on, why would you wink at me, dude? <laughs> yeah. Well, I th you know, like, I've been, like I said, I've been doing this for 27 years, and I've never gotten the feedback I've gotten um, than when I was playing Sierra. Like, it was... Mm -hmm. And I was so grateful for it, you know. Um, but I never experienced something like that from a cartoon, you know. So I mean, yeah. Hashtag bring back Sierra. Just yes. you know. <laughs> yeah. Imagine like imagine like a million people want Sierra back, and they bring your character back. What would you do? You're like what? Uh, yeah, I would be able to process that. That's what, that would be amazing. Start it up. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> now, if you were really on an island, what three famous people, dead or alive, would you bring with you? Oh my God! I hate, okay. Who's Who's Anik bringing her with her island? I guess my partner. <laughs> so three people at a beach at an island. I'm going to bring my partner my dog and jesus because <laughs> he can turn the water into wine and he's a fisherman and he's a carpenter you can't go wrong like is there a role you would love to do in a sh in like a movie or show that you love to do? you haven't done like a superhero or a ninja i don't know is there a role you love to do i would love i know this is gonna sound so weird um but i would love to play like a really angry diva-ish baby 
So like think Stewie Griffin, but female with a little more gumption, like a little more like, I don't know. I just want to play like a really angry baby. Is that what? What would the name be of the baby? I'm curious. I'm curious. A superhero would be cool too. A ninja would be cool too. But I played a superhero. I played kind of like a, a warrior, you know. So I want to play a baby. But what would the baby's name be? What would we name the baby? You know, Stewie, Stewie. What would the baby's name? I, I don't know. Stewie. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't gone that far with it, but I just thought I created this little boy. I'm not doing it. Oh my God, I'm not doing it. But it would just be fun to play. Like I played a baby once and it was actually really challenging. It was, but it was so much fun. And so I'm like, this would be awesome with like a New York accent and just like, you know, angry little baby, mafia baby. I don't know. But anyway. So Almost like Boss Baby? You know Boss Baby is? Oh my God! I didn't, I've never seen that. you never seen Boss Baby? I've never seen the vinyl because my Dylan likes that movie. Oh. Boss Baby? Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's like a movie about this baby. It's like a boss of a company, I think. I don't know. They actually talk like regularly. They, they don't, the babies don't have like a voice. It's just like a normal baby. Or is it like a, like a normal man's voice? I don't know. I don't remember. I think it's the... I don't remember. I don't remember, honestly. Anyways, um, nice reference. Don't even know the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm cheesing you. I'm pulling your leg. But yeah, I don't know. I just would like to play... like Or a monster again. I love playing monsters. Something that um, you wouldn't think I could do. You know? Like... Uh, yeah, something like that. I also, you know, really love working on children's uh, programs. And I was just giving um, a lesson, a workshop at a high school. And I, I get a lot of students who say, you know, I can do this voice and I can do this voice and this voice. And I said, well, what about your voice? You know, the one that you have. Uh -huh. One thing that I had to learn in this industry was that I don't sound very old. I'm 38 and I sound fairly young. And so I wasn't getting a lot of commercials or, or mom roles or things like that. So I said, okay, well, what's great about my voice? Like what's unique about the voice that I have? And I'm like, oh, you sound young. So learn how to speak like a child, learn kind of like the rhythm uh, in which a child speaks. Um, the way they'll start start a sentence like this and then like this. You know. So just like little things like that. And I started getting parts working with real six, seven-year-olds, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, the only adult in the room. But um, yeah, that so that, that that's really fun too, you know, to like be be a believable six, seven-year-old uh, with all these other little, you know, little ones. There. So yeah, that's the long answer. Here. But yeah, it's just like also like really learning what's awesome and unique about your own voice, you know? So, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, <clears throat> over the years of your career, do you still keep in touch with co-stars and directors you've worked with? You yeah, actually, I just wished a uh, casting director happy birthday today that I've known since I was like, I did Babar with her. So like, we're talking about like, I've known her since I was 10, you know? Wow. Uh, yeah, and I did Arthur with her and, like, so much other. Yeah, we're like a little family here, you know, in Toronto. Um, everybody kind of knows everybody. And so I do have friends in the industry that I've known for a very long time. So that's very, it's nice. And, it's, and, and casting directors especially because, like, these women, um, oh. although I have worked with men casting directors, of course, I, I, I have like a solid group of women casting directors that kind of watched me grow up, you know, and yeah. my voice change and kind of grow into these characters over the years. And they were a huge influence on me um, and taught me so much. So as far as voice actors, yes. And voice cat and directors. Yes, of course. Yeah. Nice. But, you know, sometimes you grow up and you know you move or things change or you leave the industry whatever um but for the most part yeah we do yeah. Oh, and stuff like that. 
it, it's cool too. You work for Novi Edwards twice. You know, in Total Drama and Cyber Chase. Yes, yes. So Novi and I, we've known each other for many, many years. I met her when I was 18 years old. Wow. So, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's a long time. <laughs> and, and she's wonderful. She's a very good friend, and I'm very blessed to work with her um, on both shows. So. Yeah, but during COVID, you know, we we had to work alone, so that was kind of that was diff- difficult. It wasn't difficult technically. It's just you know you miss seeing the faces, right, of your co-stars when you're working together. So, um, but yes, and and total drama. But I did not record with her to- during total drama, so we didn't really get to see each other. But we were mm. able to talk about the show and things like that together. So. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Now, uh, <clears throat> who was the coolest person you've worked with? The coolest. Yeah, you know the answer to this. Your mom loves the answer to this. Um, and that I was going to say Robert Downey Jr., hands down. He was so cool. Um, I did a movie um, called Charlie Bartlett. It was filmed in Toronto. I had, like, a very small part on camera. And uh, I don't know if I'm able to talk about cigarettes but he was smoking a cigarette and you keep talking. yeah you can talk that's why okay and i just saw him and i'm like just say hi like i'm like what am i gonna say just say hi i forced myself and he was great he was like hey what's going on I was just, not much you know trying not to sound like an idiot and he talked to me about how he was in prison <laughs> And how he wanted to write a book about it. And I'm like, that's super dude. That's dope, man. Like, do it, you know? And that's about it. We talked for like five minutes, but he was just so chill. Um, I was more intimidated. Uh, he was not intimidating at all. I was just nervous, but uh, really cool guy, really cool guy. Um, yeah, great, great, act- great actor, right? So it was nice. nice. I'm going to him. I'm going to say him. Nice. Like reviewers in on a petite secret. Go ahead. Okay. Joe and I have been trying to film this darn interview. This is what our seventh attempt. Attempt, like it's been all going on. We've been in touch for months and months trying to ah, sorry, trying to get this done. So we've been talking for months, and it's been wonderful to you know get to know you and your family. But um, you kind of know the some of the answers to this. I'm changing them a bit, but um. Yeah, and, and Joe has just been teasing me and um, being a little prankster, but it's been awesome. And it's been awesome getting to know your family, you know, and you're my yeah. friend now. So I'm very happy about that. Yeah. So maybe we'll one day in Chicago. Yeah, you gotta come to Chicago. That'd be cool. If you come to Chicago, you know, that'd be cool. Oh, so cool. So it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. We will meet. In awesome. Fun. Awesome. <laughs> if you didn't go into like voice acting or acting, what do you think you would have done instead as a career? And what other interesting hobbies do you have besides voice acting? Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'd probably be a lost cause. Like, uh, I wanted to go and become a therapist at one point. Like, I love psychology. Mm. And I probably would have tried to get my degree in psychology and then gone to do drama therapy as my master's. Uh, really, yeah, so drama again, but from more of a holistic perspective. But I'm also in a rock band and I play music, so that. Um, you know, I'm really happy with my life choices. Is that like really weird to say? Like, I, it's been, I, anyone who's an artist who's watching this knows, like, it's not an easy journey. Um, but I'm really happy with where I am, you know? So, I don't know. I thought even at one point I would work for like uh, a funeral home, be like a funeral director's assistant, but I'm like, eh, I don't know. I think I was going through a phase. <laughs> Just one of those phases. Okay. I, I was depressed, you know. So it was one of those things. Um, but yeah, no, no, no. I um, or maybe a teacher. I would love to teach. Oh. Uh-huh. But yeah, I think that's about it. I don't think I would have become like a rocket scientist. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, you be, you be, you became like this noble, well, noble prize. Is that is it noble prize winner? Oh, noble, noble prize winner. 
Is that the word? I don't know. I'm stupid. I don't know. Oh, Nobel! No. Nobel. It looks like Noble. I'm sorry. Thank you, Kyle. Nobel. Thank you, Kyle. <laughs> Nobel Prize. Yeah, like I would have never gotten anything remote close to that. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I think well, like anybody watching this knows, like you know when you're an artist, you know it's something you can't help. It's in your blood, you know. Yeah. Um, like that. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> favorite band or artist and type of music, Monique. Um, we're laughing because, um, I'm obsessed with this band, uh, <laughs> German rock, uh, Rammstein. So we're, I'm going to go see them in August. Got front row seats in the fire pit. I'm four foot 11, barely five feet tall. So I don't know what I was thinking, but I got way too excited. So I'm going to wear like, like these massive, like six inch platform boots. And I'm just going to go and rock and roll. So Rammstein. But I also love like singer singing songs, uh, singer songwriters such as Tori Amos, Fiona Apple, going back in the '90s. Um, but yeah, I really love my rock, um, my grunge, my metal, my singer songwriters. Um, but right now, I've just been listening to the new Rammstein uh, album a lot, a little too much. I really, really like them. And what else am I listening to? Told you I'm a world tour music. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> like a lot of rock, a lot of '90s, early 2000s bands, you know. Mm. Oh yeah, I was listening to Lily Allen the other day, like her old stuff, Lizzo today, because I just felt like dancing. So like, it's all over the place, right? Mm. I think like good music is a good, a good song is a good song, right? So mm. some artists, I just like one song, maybe they're single or others, you know. I'm like. I'm like a diehard fan, right? So, in my opinion, like for me, for my picking a song, it depends on my mood. If that makes sense. Oh yeah, sense. totally, right? Totally. Yeah. See, when I was listening to Lizzo, I was making eggs, so I was just like, mm, 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 you know, making my eggs. Sorry, this is me scrambling eggs, uh, which is funny because I didn't have scrambled eggs. <laughs> ah, I'm so sorry. Being French toast. So I did scramble eggs, but I put bread in it, and then that I... That sounds good. You know what? They're not the best. They're gluten-free French toast, but it was... I tried to make it good, and then I put strawberries on there to make syrup. Ooh. Where's mine, Annie? What the heck? <laughs> it was breakfast time, so I wanted some Lizzo, you know? And, but, like, when I'm working out, I need rock music. I need metal. Everything from Thrice to Foo Fighters to Audio Slaves, uh, Pearl Jam, uh, well, Rage Against the Machine, you know. Get that. <laughs> get that blood pump. Cardio? The, car the cardio? Yeah, cardio. I guess blood pumps and you lose weight or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now, favorite, favorite sports and favorite teams? Um, I like to sit out on the bench and watch. Uh, aside from that, no, I'm not really into sports. I suck at sports. Uh, nobody wants me on their team. I don't blame them. Uh, but I did when I was younger. I played softball and I loved it. I was a catcher and that was super, super fun. They called me the little home runner because I would hit home runs and I was super fast at running. Yeah. And so I would love to even like go to a co-ed, you know, baseball thing during the summer one year, but I haven't gotten around to it. But yeah, I'm not great. I like to swim. I like to swim. I like to run. It's just like solo things, right? Like, and so antisocial. I also like archery and sword fighting. And that's about it. You said, so, uh, see, I'm not too afraid. I feel like I would drown. In the water, like, oh, you're out. I mean, too well, I'm not really like a sword fighter, like, it's not a trade, or I'm not certified, or anything. Oh, for swimming, for swimming, <laughs> for swimming. Like, if I were to swim, I'd be too afraid if I were to drown. What if I swim, I'd be too afraid if I drowned in the water. I'd be afraid. You don't know how to swim a little bit, a little, a little bit, 
Well, that's okay. You know, you take baby steps, you know? I was trained in swimming as a kid, right? Like, I took all the levels. So, you can't know how to, you know, that's that's normal to be afraid. Yeah. But I go in the deep water, you know? Yeah. Sorry, Nick. Sorry, that sounds goofy to you, sir. No, it's okay. I just made an ass of myself saying about eggs and that I'm a sword fighter. So, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> edit that out because I'm not a sword fighter. I held a, a sword for the first time because um, Kyle's backyard has this big tree with acid berries. Uh -huh. So he has like this like aesthetic, like Lord of the Rings sword. So we just started smashing the uh, branches off, like just a few for the berries, right? Felt so good. Mm -hmm. But I did take some archery lessons. I do like archery. Do you like Lord of the Rings? Oh, I'm so oh, I'm a nerd. You know the guy that plays Bob in Stranger Things is Samwise, right? I sure. know! You okay. okay, make sure you knew that. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I was, I was so upset when Bob died. You don't understand. I was so upset. Uh, I'm, I'm on season three. We're going to start that. Um, but yeah, when Bob died, uh, that was a hard one. But he, I heard you. I heard he was really nice, though, eh? Yes, he, he actually believe I come to Chicago next month. No way! Are you gonna go see him? Oh yeah, you know him. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, I know he played Sam in Lord of the Rings. He was so sweet. If you want, when I see him, I tell me say hi. Oh my God, he won't know who I am. I I could show. I mean, what if he's heard of told, his kids? I think no total drama. So I mean. they did. Shut up. I'm not joking. I'm serious. Okay, tell Bob I uh, Sierra says hi. <laughs> I got you. I got you. I got you. What if he says, oh my god, he loves you. What if he lo what's his favorite character? What if, he, what, what if it was? What would you do? I don't know. That'd be pretty wild. That'd be pretty yeah. More than chance. <laughs> but I was a huge fan. I'm a huge fan of his mom. You know, right? Yeah, yeah. She was so outspoken about mental health, you know, and mm. how, you know, her own struggles. And uh, she, she was, she was great. She was a leader. So, um, but yeah, him, his mom, you know, I'm, I'm a fan. So, yeah, say hi to him for me. I got you. <laughs> now, now, uh, what is your favorite food, Unique? What's Unique's favorite food? I really like burgers and fries. Um, Oops. I think that's my favorite. I like Thai food. I like steak. So. I'm like really simple, you know, like I love simple food, just like good pub food, you know? You like your toast or your eggs? Yeah, but like it's boring, you know, like I have that for breakfast, but um, yeah, that's it. And I like pasta a lot. I'm um, of like a really good pasta with seafood. Ooh, I think my favorite food is crab or lobster. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Never had that. No, is it good? Never had that. Is it really good? What? You've never no, had it? No. Oh, really? I only, the only fish I've had is salmon and shrimp. That's the only fish I've ever had. I gotta try it. I also love scallops. Oh, I love scallops. I think I was a mermaid in my past life. Like, I just love seafood. Love seafood. So mermaid and eat. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. And I'm a fairy in this life, so you know, you know how it goes. Mm -hmm. Now, are there any projects you have in the works? Like? Anything coming up in the works for you? Um, let's see. Yeah. I'm working on a new series for Disney Plus called Open Season, where I play a little gibbon, which is not a monkey. It's a gibbon. It's a difference. Okay. Um, and she is just the sweetest little character. I just love her. She's very hyper. Um, I play, I'm doing a new series for Nickelodeon Jr., which is great. I'm not able to talk about it. Um, what else am I doing? I'm doing, what else am I doing? Oh, I got a part for a new video game where I'll be playing two characters. Again, I cannot talk about it because you got to sign NDAs now for everything. Um, but I'm so I'm doing a bit of voice work. Um, it's a little slow right now, but, you know, I'm doing doing that and 
doing my artist stuff on the side, right? So can't complain. And Sierra's coming back, right? That'd be cool. Sierra comes back. Another project that can be. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. What are you up to this summer? Uh, I just keep doing these podcasts, maybe meet up with some friends, maybe. Hang out with some friends, maybe. Staying out of trouble? No, I'm okay. yes. <laughs> Aw. What advice would you give younger people that want to become a voice actress and actress? What's your advice? Okay, I think it's basically like I said at the beginning, you know, when we get into this industry, we're so, we're so, um, we feel the pressure to be able to make up voices and create okay. voices and characters. And I get it. Like I did that when I was a kid, you know, I'd spend time in my room by myself creating different characters and I'd write, you know, oh, this is like a monster voice. So uh, I'm going to name my monster Fred. And when Fred likes this color, Fred likes this food. When Fred gets mad, he sounds like this when he's happy. So I get that. But take time to learn about your own voice. Get um you spent, you know, 300 bucks. I, you know, I think that that's another thing people don't understand is that they think, you know, because everything is so accessible online, they don't need to spend a little bit of money on a good pair of headphones or a good mic. And that's just not true. You do. You should. Um, and then read to yourself, like literally read to yourself using your headphones, get to know your strengths, get to know your weaknesses, what you need to work on. Um, because voice acting isn't just saying the words. Can you be consistent? Can you do you know about breath work? Do you know about how to use your abdomen so that you can sheet your breath? Um, you know, around sentences. Can you do you know how to like not pop your P's then your T's? <laughs> Little things like that, like you'll you'll pick up on that just by reading to yourself. You know, pretend you're doing an audiobook. Because uh, if you get a part for an audiobook, you've got to read, like, you know, how many pages, hours and hours, or a video game. You've got to do that voice for four, up to four hours, right? So that's that's my advice. Get to know your voice before you go forth. And 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 also just to add to that is that you know when I started this in this industry, you needed an agent, you needed a resume, a demo, you needed all of that. And today we just don't. You can start your own business at home as a voice. Use that too. But before you go down that road, I highly encourage you to get to know your own voice first. Yeah. I like to like stay humble. Remember where you came from, Amy? Sorry? Stay I like to I like to like, add, like stay humble. Remember where you came from, like don't get cocky, if that makes sense. Like I like to add that, like adding to your voice. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get cocky. I don't really experience I don't I've not really met many up and coming voice actors who are cocky. Um and if they are, they're in for a huge surprise. Yeah. So uh yeah, stay humble. Uh there's no need to be cocky, but um yeah, but get always remind yourself why you're doing this you know be in touch with that why are you doing this do you think about this first thing in the morning when you wake up when you go to bed um sandra O oh has a great quote and it says if you don't and again i'm paraphrasing but it, when you wake up in the morning if you don't think about acting when you're having lunch if you don't think about acting you're going to bed you don't think don't get into the acting industry because it's just too difficult it's hard and it's not worth it so and I say the same for voice work. It's a very difficult industry. Can you can you succeed in it? Well, if I can, you can. But at the same time, it takes work. I really do believe in being at the right place at the right time sometimes. And it takes sacrifice, you know, all the things that you'd need to succeed in any industry, really. It's just this is a very unique industry, right? So, um, yeah. I know we kind of like trailed away from the question, but yeah, get the answer is get to know your own voice and know that there is um, hope for you and, 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 and find out what your resources are online, you know, go online and how you start your business doing this. Um, yeah. When the time is right, when the time is right. 
Now, Anik, would you be willing to come back on for a part two answering some fan submitted questions you'll first hear of? Would you be willing? Of course. Yes. Of course. Okay. Okay. I'm asking because that way people have like questions. Yeah. Yeah. So if they have any questions, I'll come back and we can do a part two. Answer your questions. That would be great. Awesome. Thank you, Anik. Also, before I ask you my last question, can I ask you that? Remember that question that person I told you that kept requesting you? Where I told you someone kept requesting you? Do you remember we mentioned it to you before the podcast? Okay. That they wanted you to make a video message for them? Yeah. What do they want me to say? Okay. So they had a qu They were wondering. Okay. It's loading. Sorry about that, Anik. Okay. It took a, it took a, okay. If you interview Anik Obanswan, Okay. Please ask her to use your Emma from My Fair Madeline to say hello to me, please. And Sierra wishing her a happy birthday and anniversary, please. And your name on YouTube is K Woods in Fiction. In Fiction? In Fiction? So. Okay, what? <laughs> <laughs> their, their username is K Woods, I F I C A C I O N. In Fiction? Oh, dude, I don't know. Can you can you show it to me? Share. Sure. I'll fill, call with the glare. I took a screenshot because they commented on my one of my told you all interviews. I'll if you can see that. Your name is oh. K word. Woodification. There. Woodification. So if you could like, if you could say hello is Emma from my fair Randall, and if you could wish her a happy birthday and happy anniversary, I'll say he or her. I don't know. It doesn't say. Remember my that voice? So I was like a child when I did like Magdal or what is that? Yeah. yeah, I was a kid. I don't, but I can do the Sierra. That, I'm, I hope that works because they keep asking. So Kyle wrote it for me. <laughs> my, I have a memory of a goldfish. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you, Kyle. Thank okay. You. okay, okay. What do they want me to say? Happy birthday. If they could say happy birthday and happy anniversary. Oh, anniversary, though. <laughs> this is happy anniversary. Okay. I think, like, happy birthday and happy anniversary, K Winification. <gasps> OMG. Is that okay? That works. That works. Yay. Thanks for the shout out. Because, like, every single Toll Drama interview I've been doing recently, they've been commenting. They wanted you to come on the podcast. I mean, you're so sweet. I know. I keep getting messages from people like, what are you doing, Joe's podcast? I'm like, people. <laughs> <laughs> We're both busy. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Is that, oh, do you think she'd like that? Did I do it right? I think so. Do you think she'll be upset with the man? I know you don't remember because you're, you're a kid, so I don't know. A kid. So if you, if you want, okay, let me do, let me say this for her. Okay, as far as my fair Madeline, I was a child when I did that. I do not remember. Something tells me I had a French accent. I cannot remember. So I'm going to do Sierra for you. Is that okay? That uh, works. That works. That works. Sierra now? Or I already did it. Can you edit that or do you want me to just do it again? You want to do it just in case? Sorry. Okay. It's okay. K Woods. Woods is an S with it. K Woods. How about I just say K Woods? Why is it K-Woodification? It's K that's their username. Okay. Their username. Let's go down to user K-Woodification. Happy birthday, OMG! And I, I want to wish you happy anniversary! Yay! Is that like Sierra? That works. It sounds like Sierra. That works. Okay. Now, Anik, is there anything you would like to promote and shout out like I'll link down below in the video description? Um. You no, know, not really. I I know it's kind of sad, but um, you know, I, I'm on Instagram official and Nico Bonso, and it's not because I'm like special or anything. It's because I I tried. Okay, I signed up to Instagram like three different accounts, and then I forgot my password. So everybody's like, one account has more followers than the one I have now, which is irrelevant. It doesn't matter, but that. Yeah called official not because i'm like big time or anything it's because i have three other accounts and i don't know how to delete them so <laughs> yeah uh, follow me on there and um like i said i'm working on some new music so uh that'll be coming out i'm sure i'll promote some of that on instagram and yeah yeah that's about it i'd, and, like, I'd like to promote your podcast 
Thank you. So please check out Joe's show. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you, Anik, for being an awesome, amazing guest. I had a fun time chatting with you. Thank you. Thank you, Joe, for asking me to be on your show. I had so much fun. Thank you. Me too. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody, and stay awesome, and you stay awesome, Anik. Stay awesome, Joe. Bye. <laughs>